up everybody? Joel Hansen here. So today we are heading to Shawarma Royale for a massive Shawarma challenge. That's right. A lot of people have been asking for more Shawarma videos, uh, Middle Eastern cuisine, etc. So here we are. So Shawarma Royale is a Syrian style Shawarma, a Syrian style restaurant, and they have this absolutely massive giant Shawarma pyramid. So they have about seven locations around uh, the Toronto area, but today we're going to the Mississauga location. So what this pyramid is comprised of is not only their lamb Shawarmas, their chicken Shawarmas, and their falafels. This thing is comprised of like 15 ish wraps which is absolutely insane each wrap is about like 350 grams or approximately like three quarters of a pound so overall there's going to be something like 11 ish 12 pounds of shawarma which is absolutely insane plus there is a giant heaping side of coleslaw with it as well they make their own coleslaw there they're very well known for it i love coleslaw so i'm super excited for that so we're gonna have one hour to complete this absolutely massive giant shawarma tower uh, if we complete we will get the meal for free which is pretty cool but this is a lot of food shawarma is not the easiest food to eat but i'm super excited everything here is very very traditional i know they're making their own sauces um, i know they have the options of using like di even like different pitas like one i think it's called a sage bread like a more traditional kind of style of bread um, but everything looks awesome they have the big uh, spits or skewers which they carve the meat off of by hand. Super excited to go try some of this food. I've heard great things about Shawarma Royale and today we're actually gonna get to put it to the test. So let's go enjoy this crazy challenge, hopefully be able to complete it and uh, that's about it. So let's go check this thing out and uh, fingers crossed, wish us luck. All right everyone, so here we are with the challenge, the absolute biggest pyramid, the ultimate Shawarma challenge. So as you can tell, this thing's absolutely massive. Like it covers me up, I'm not even visible because of this thing. So we have, I think something like 15 wraps in total, like absolutely incredible amount of shawarmas. We have their house-made falafel, we have their um, house you know, chicken, lamb, which are on the uh, skewers, they're shaving it directly to order, which is freaking awesome. They're making their own garlic sauces, their own tahini. It all smells so good, it looks so good. They also have the choice of uh, sage bread or a pita bread, so I have a little bit of both, sage being the kind of more traditional. Um, everything looks like honestly amazing. I cannot get how over, like how, I can't get over. I can't get over how aesthetic all this looks. It smells great. I just can't wait to try it. So we also have a big, huge serving of their coleslaw here, like a pound plus of coleslaw, um, and a little bit of garlic sauce here as well, extra garlic sauce. Plus I have some other, uh, all their like, extra house-made sauces here on the side. And that's another thing to do. They're always making new sauces, uh, having new like items and everything coming out. So they even have fried chicken here, which is pretty dang cool. So yeah, the coleslaw, this big massive pyramid of shawarma and falafel. So I'm super excited, so we're gonna start it here. And uh, that's about it. Wish us luck. This is a lot of food. Everyone, so I am ready. Restaurant is ready. Yes, so I got my timer. So I'm going to, uh, well, let's just let's just start. I'll say probably the count of five, four. Start that gets to 10. I think I got a falafel here to start with. So let's say three, two, one. Let us eat. Oh yeah. All right, that garlic sauce is fire. Chicken shawarma. Mm. That was delicious. Pomegranate molasses, pickles. Very, very delicious. Pyramid is standing. That's impressive. That is good work. 
Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Shawarma Royale in Mississauga, Ontario. Here taking on this absolutely giant, yes, giant Shawarma Pyramid. So overall we had about roughly 15 wraps, 15, 16, somewhere around there, um, to which they all weighed about three quarters of a pound and the wraps were all cut into about three or four pieces and then uh, essentially stacked on top of each other. So what is just crazy about this pyramid and is so deceiving is just the video does not do it justice. If you look at the bottom of the pyramid, the bottom layer, you can see just how compacted that these wraps got under the sheer weight of all the other ones stacked on top of them. So just an absolutely giant, huge shawarma pyramid. And we did have a couple falafels in there, but the vast majority was the chicken and the lamb shawarma, which they are very well known for and I could definitely see why. So I got to try a chicken shawarma here at this point and the falafel. The falafel was really good. You get to pick all the toppings um, that you put in the wraps or you can go with the more conventional like I did with most of my chicken wraps. Another thing to do is add a lot of flavor is to take the shawarma, the wrap, dip it in the juices, then sear it. Really get that flavor, really nice char flavor. So the conventional toppings in the chicken wrap were like a garlic sauce and a pickle, um, which was very, very delicious. It was kind of like simplicity at its best, but it goes oh so well with the spices. Um, whereas again, you can add any like items you want, such as if you want lettuce, tomatoes, if you want some of the, uh, the pickled turnips or, you know, whatever you'd like. Um, but very, very delicious, very fantastic. I had um, some of the items such as the falafels on traditional pita breads. And then I had a lot of the other wraps Wraps, um, to be made more in a traditional and even more traditional more traditional Syrian way on the Saj bread um, which was really really nice and if you definitely come on by I definitely recommend trying the Saj bread I really liked it and now we're about four minutes 15 seconds in very delicious it's crazy how many wraps and pieces are here because these are all like kind of pressed down from the weight we got a lot of food left. What else was super cool and you saw them doing it at the beginning is like they take the pita, they dip it in the uh, the juices, the oils of like the say the chicken, and then they like sear it kind of real quick. They put it, they kind of flame it there, which really adds a really unique flavor. It kind of adds a little bit of a fiery, smoky flavor to it all. So it's just like it's like it's a lot of interestingly like complementary flavors going on and that's both not only from the food items but from the technique right so let's use the example of like the lamb shawarma um, like the lamb shawarma you not only had the lamb which was seasoned which was absolutely delicious you then had the tahini sauce you had these um, kind of uh, you know the fried onions you had uh, you know all the other ingredients in there and then when you know if, if that isn't enough then when it's kind of seared and you get that fiery aspect it's almost like you're eating like a grilled item like that that's kind of it like it tastes like you're eating like a grilled you know whether it be like a lamb kebab or a skewer but then you have the deliciousness of like the sage bread overall like I said really was impressed with the flavors um, very very delicious and had no complaints about uh, any of those aspects um, so now again this overall is something like 11 or 12 pounds of shawarma like which was absolutely giant and then including the coleslaw we had a minimum of like 12 pounds of food in front of me I could have even been probably upwards of 13 and a half but we'll say 12 I didn't have an exact scale but this thing was absolutely giant so I knew we were going to be in for a bit of a ride um, just kind of actually how big this got and like I said it's crazy how compacted the bottom layers were as well All right, now we're getting into some of the lamb, which looks very delicious. Oh, man. Those flavors. Really come from that tahini. Very, very good. How was the lamb? Yeah? Okay, 
I love the flavor. Well, I do like it. They make their garlic sauce and their tahini there, and they're really like making it about as authentic as possible. Like they don't even put uh, like a mayonnaise in the garlic sauce, which a lot of places use just to kind of cut it, reduce costs. Um, this is again being made about as traditionally Syrian as possible in pretty much all aspects, and the flavors definitely come through in that. Thank you. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Good thing I have such good help here. On a side note, these shawarmas are just beautifully flavored. Definitely try the tahini sauce. They also put um, an item called pomegranate molasses on a lot of the wraps, or at least some of them, like the lamb, um, which is, I guess, they, well, they, they, the way they described it, because they knew I really liked ketchup, they said it was like a Syrian ketchup, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, so I had that on some of the wraps. I also had some extra there on the side um, in the bottles there. They also had gave me some extra um, garlic sauce. They gave me a nice big... Uh, pile on the plate besides the coleslaw although they very much clarified that was just for my leisure that is not to be finished for the challenge um, or doesn't have to be finished I should say uh, whereas again the shawarma and the coleslaw itself were going to were part of the challenge um, but yeah then they also had like some chili sauces which I got on a couple uh, just to kind of add a little bit of uh, d different spice different flavor um, but all that combined, again, overall very, very delicious flavors. I have had some lamb shawarmas in the past, and I think this is, actually I can say with certainty, this was my favorite one. This was definitely, um, I'd say the most enjoyable lamb shawarma I have had. Um, and then the chicken one was fantastic as well. Um, the falafel was nice. Um, I really have no complaints. And the menu was very interesting. It had some other like really cool items like fried chicken. I've never seen fried chicken at a shawarma restaurant. Um, you know, and so like I said, it was a really unique place. And and uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Ultimately, let's tune on in. Let's see what happens. Um, again, absolutely insane amount of food. So if you think I can complete it, let me know down below. But more importantly, more importantly, are you a chicken shawarma or a lamb shawarma person? Let me know down below. And at that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Fourteen and a half minutes in, definitely a lot of food. This is all like still so many wraps, which is very compacted. We have yeah, flavors are very good. Let's keep on going, see what we can do. We've got both cameras working now, so fingers crossed, no more difficulties. One last thing I'll add is you'll notice that pretty much any time I mention a time, it's also 10 seconds off. Um, I forgot I started when my timer was at 10 seconds. So, you know, if I say it's 1530, we're actually, um, you know, probably 1520. So there will be a little bit of discrepancy between what I'm saying and what we'll say on screen. But like I said, as I stated at the beginning, that's because I started the timer at 10 seconds and I just forgot.
1755. This is a lot of food. It's crazy how they said they can pack it down. There's so many more pieces than I realized. I'll take a pepper. I'm gonna put this whole thing here. Sure. Mm -hmm. what it like. But the peppers are really good. They're a little bit spicy and they give that little break. Thank you. Looks delicious. <laughs> Alright, some are probably like coming on 20 ish four minutes. Try some of this coleslaw. Very refreshing, crisp. I like that a lot. And then when it comes to the pita, I like. 11-ish pieces left. <coughs> so slowly but surely, we're making our way through it. Alright everyone, and if you're still watching to this point, first off, I want to sincerely thank you for not skipping through the video. I want to sincerely thank you for your viewership, for your support. I totally appreciate you. I appreciate all you liking the videos, commenting down below. And so now let's play one of our jokes on the skippers. Everybody really seems to like these, and if I don't do them, I get people saying, where's the jokes, Joel? Where is our opportunity to play these jokes? So loving to give you that opportunity and I really appreciate you guys participating so let's comment down below something along the lines and of course always have fun with it but how about oh my gosh Joel I can't believe you won the lottery or I can't believe you won the lottery or perhaps you see me winning something else and buying something have fun with it let me know down below in the comments I really appreciate you so comment right now I can't believe you won the lottery Eight minutes and ten seconds in. Definitely making it work. Try all these hot peppers. Ooh. That is spicy. Ooh. Definitely wake you up in the morning. Yeah, very delicious.
seven minutes, ten seconds in. Try to get some of this. Clean up. I get rid of this tray. Just get rid of it. Yeah, I sure you take that. Thanks so much. Alright. So we have some coleslaw. And this little bit right here. Whew! A lot of food. Dang delicious though. I still stand by that. That tahini sauce is probably some of the best, if not the best. Um, so yeah, coleslaw, this little bit, a little bit of shrapnel. Let's get her done. Whoa. Shout out to the coleslaw as well. Super fresh, super crisp. It was definitely easy to eat after all that food, and that says something about it. It was just that good. But yeah, seriously, Shorma Royale, really enjoy it. Definitely check them out. Seven locations around Toronto, but definitely been very, very, very delicious. Like I said, that was, I don't know, 15, 16, however many Shawarma slash flop. An insane amount of food. But again, like I said, very delicious. Definitely come try the tahini sauce. Alright buddy, hope you enjoyed today's video. I will say this garlic sauce is good, but I don't I don't I don't want to just eat it. Thank you so much for watching. But yeah, seriously, very, very delicious. No complaints. Huge thanks to the staff. They're very accommodating, very friendly. Um, definitely, like I said, they were skillful to master that pyramid. But yeah, that's about it, everybody. So uh, I don't know if they got a couple more items. Maybe I'll try on the menu. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But yeah, seriously, very delicious. Really enjoyed it. 
All right, so there's just a couple more items I did want to try on the menu because they were very, very unique and I've never really, okay, we have fried chicken. I've had fried chicken before, but I've never tried fried chicken looking quite like this. And then we have kube, which is kind of like bulgur and ground meat. I wanted to try this here, not only because I've never had it before, but they specifically have it here during Ramadan, which is pretty cool. So I thought it was pretty unique. So I'll definitely try this. They have tahini to dip in it as well. So we'll give it a, a try without, and then we'll try with the uh, sauce. So, cheers. Mm. Damn! Look at that. Look at that. There's lovely, lovely flavors in there. Getting those like traditional Middle Eastern spices. The inside is super, super soft. And then the outside has a really nice crunchy shell on it. I like that a lot. A little bit of onion and stuff in there. No complaints. That's cool. I've now tried Kube. Then we have some of the roasted fried chicken. So I got a leg, I got a wing, I got a breast. Shout out breast. And a thigh. Shout out thighs. Look at this. Happy man. All right. Looks very good. They also serve this with their garlic sauce. Yeah, they're making that here very delicious. They don't add mayonnaise and stuff in it. It's very like traditional garlic sauce, a very delicious one. So let's try some roasted fried chicken. Pretty cool. Ooh! I can see it just steaming, steaming, steaming hot. Very juicy. Very, very juicy. Very soft. There's a flavor I can't quite place. Like it's in the breading, which is very delicious, very crispy. Almost like a, a little bit of a lemon or something really fresh. Really nice and zesty. Try that garlic sauce. Still just steam away. That is delicious. I really like that. Last but not least, my battery's about to die here. We have ice cream. So now this is an item they only have here at certain times. It looks like it is rolled. Pistachios, it is like cut into slices, which looks super dang cool. All right, so let's give this a try. Whoa! It's like gummy. Yeah! Look at this! That's why I wanted you to try it. It stretches. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Very delicious. Super creamy. It has like a really gummy texture. So again, that's the, that's the mastic that's coming in. The mastic, I gotcha. Yeah, dude, that is the coolest thing I've ever, ever had. So you only have that. You only have that sometimes, right? Yeah. So get it while it's hot, because that is freaking delicious. I have never had, like, I don't know, gummy, stringy, chewy, pullable, stretchy ice cream. That is so dang cool. I'm gonna get going here for my, like, so my memory card's about to, or battery's about to die. Well, everybody, like I said, seriously, seven locations, would recommend. Definitely make sure you try some of that ice cream. That's the coolest thing ever. Well, everybody, until next time, of course, have a hungry, happy eating. That's about it. It's been a very, very enjoyable experience. Everything from the shawarma to the chicken to like everything. I love to know. So huge thanks to the staff here. Like I said, very calming. It's been a great experience. I'll definitely be back. I recommend you to come by as well. So that, I might get some more of this ice cream.
It has mango and crazy, so unique, stretchy ice cream. All right, and that, I, just, I just gotta say goodbye, so have a nice day, everybody. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day